Well, you know, I also write the show Forbidden Broadway, and it's a review, a small review of Broadway Review that I've been doing for 35 years since I was a young man. I do do other shows, but I'm most famous for that. And that's a big spoof of all the Broadway musicals, from, uh, you know, Phantom of the Opera, to Annie, to Fiddle on the Roof, to uh, all the Sondheim shows, to even the classics like the Roger Hammerstein shows, like Oklahoma or The King and I. So I'd been doing Forbidden Broadway for years, and it was a review where we would go from uh, song to song, like a blackout review. We'd do spoof one number, hopefully very funny, make you laugh, blackout, do the next number. So when Hamilton came along, though, I thought, well, how am I going to do this? Because it's a very interesting story, and it's certainly got a dense book. So I thought, well, I can't do it like Forbidden Broadway, and it's too much of a um, landmark show to do one number in a new Forbidden Broadway. So I wrote Spamilton, which sort of has a little story to it, a fantasy story about Lin-Manuel and what he might have been thinking when he wrote it. So it has a story, but I didn't want to go too far away from the Forbidden Broadway milieu, so I put Forbidden Broadway elements into Spamilton into Hamilton. So Lin-Manuel, the creator of Hamilton, is like going to see all these shows. He goes to see mashups like The Lion King and I, or he meets stars like Liza Minnelli. So, uh, and there's a couple of surprises in there too. So rather than thinking of this show as Forbidden Broadway with a Hamilton spoof number in it, think of it as a spoof of Hamilton with a little Forbidden Broadway sprinkled in it. <laughs> 